Hello and happy gaming everybody! My name is Dark Sage Walker, and when I first started my channel, I had been playing A Hat in Time, and then I just sort of forgot about it. I don't know why, but at the time I was thinking, okay, I have yet to try this game, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I am a fan of the old 3D platformer. So now it's time to relearn how to play this game. Ooh. Okay, so... Let's see, why is the camera focused so close? Alright, what am I doing? That's what I'm doing. Nothing. Alright. Oh, come back here, Roomba. I swear this kid has more money more money than I'll ever have in my lifetime. At least that's how it feels. Brewing hat. Blammo indeed. Alright, I think this is where I'm supposed to go next. Area unlocked. Power has been restored in the machine room! Chapter Battle of the Birds is now available. I don't entirely know what that means, but... The machine is detecting no anomalies right now, maybe it'll pick up a signal later. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you should pick up a signal. Maybe. What is the mechanical cactar doing there? I don't trust mechanical cactars. Alright, sorry, I'm just re-familiarizing myself with what everything does. And where is this machine room that you're telling me about? Time rift detected? What's this? Perspiration? Hopefully not. Yes, unfortunately. Alright, well, I don't entirely know what all of this means, but this is apparently Act 7, that's Act 6, that's a time rift. You know what? I want to move on to the next area before I go back and start doing challenges. Because I get the feeling that's what those are, is challenges. So let me out of here. We're going to go over here. Alright, cool. What are you? Seven stage tri uh, tri calculating quantum harmon harmonizer. It was pretty expensive. Who doesn't deserve to treat themselves every now and again? Whatever the hell that meant. You barely read it! Not that smart. The VGS1, the fastest, most complex supercomputer ever to be built. Boot it up? I might as well. Immeasurable, like purely non visual fun. Your name is Alan. Uh, let's go east. You have been tricked. There's a set of them. They are guarded by a prismatic wolf. Exits are north. Irregardless? That's not even a word. So, whatever, I guess. Are 
I've got a grassy clearing. There is a large canyon here. Exits are north and south. Jump! an achievement attached to that. There probably is, but... It's stuck on really bright. Alright, good to know. Alright, what do we got? Battle of the Birds. Oh, well, I guess that's where we're going. Top review, two and a half stars. Actors all terrible. Alright, some girl. Perfect! Apparently that's fragile. Dead bird stew. Yeah, that's morbid. Yeah, I'm talking to you! This movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ! Gruuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
No humans allowed. Oh, well, we've got issues. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. How do you ever get anything done I if that's really the way you think? I interacting with other birds. Yeah, well, you know, not my problem. Oh, hey, little chirper. They're recording right now, so no one's allowed in. They're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. Don't even think about sneaking inside. Don't even think about continuing this video game, what you're playing. You see my fingers here? You see how they're snapping? That is the universal bird sign for beat it. Oh, look, my fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Snap, snap, snap. You catch my drift? Hey, little girl! You should join our DJ Gru's fan club. You get a membership card and everything. It's a real good deal for any movie-going bird. Okay. You're no bird, eh? Then what brings you to Dead Bird Studio? Before you answer, you should watch DJ Gru's latest movie. It's real good, and I'm not being paid to say that. Honest. I have my doubts. Hey, watch where you're going, buddy. Don't get near DJ Grooves, all right? DJ Grooves means a lot to us, so we gotta protect him. Don't you think of anything, yeah? I'll be watching you, buddy. Eyes on you. Okay, if you insist. Don't tell anyone this, but before DJ Grooves became fascinated by movies, he actually ran a nightclub. I know. Crazy, right? Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought? Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, a bunch of, okay. Huh? There's a lot of characters to talk to. They carried in? Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Oh, how clever. Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the Owl Express that the conductor runs. I need to ride the train to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. Maybe you should have thought of that. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? Oh, wouldn't I don't that know. be nice? I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Oh, okay, maybe you just have issues. Please, disregard my twitchy behavior. My body has been to places that have left a permanent mark. No kidding! Oh, nice to see we're all from the same creepypasta mold. Projectile badge. Alright, so let's see if I can equip that. What badges do I have on right now? Seems useful. I'm down for that. Okay, camera. A little close. Yeah. Alright, so is there a way to manually pull off the hover move? That would be nice to know. Let's look around. Oh, hello. That was a nice little skip. Gotta admit, the camera does seem to be pulled in a little close to the main character here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about.
I will be billed for trespassing. I haven't even trespassed yet. Y'all are some jerks. But simultaneously, it makes you think I'm even going to pay that bill. Yeah, that's what I'm after. Alright, how do I get there? Fragile. Apparently not. Okay, well, there's how you do that. Alright, so... These aren't as fragile as they're saying they are. actually expect you to pay that. Alright, what am I attacking? Am I attacking you? of property. Oh, what's going on here? Kinda wanted to kinda wanted this to be a single player experience. Ah, I see. <laughs> Screw you people. Your property means nothing to me. Assault on Cactus? I, mean, I guess it's better than owl harassment. I, mean, I guess it's better than being than dealing with Assault on Titan. Question. I didn't exactly want this to be an online session, especially since I am more or less playing a single player game here. make this work one way or another. Maybe that's what it was doing earlier when it was asking if I wanted to. Son of a bitch. should say that I'm not the biggest fan of forced stealth sections. telling me about this destruction of property. It's not like I'm going to be paying it. I 
Alright, what's going on here? Where am I going? I gotta go down there. What's up with this? I guess I gotta go back and hit it again. Yes, X is how you attack. Thank you for letting me know. here it's of note? Not really. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Too damn bad. What am I looking at here? I am looking at a treasure chest. Oh, okay. I guess I can't get that treasure chest right away. Alright, no problem. Just wait on that one. Nothing over there I even care about. So is this the end of the line here? Looks like it. Okay. This section is more linear than I originally thought. Ugh. How do you expect me to see what's uh, to see what's ahead if it is? Oh yeah, that worked. Awesome. Here we go. Ah, jewels. God, I hate four stealth sections. It's 
hard to think of anything that can screw up the pace of a game more so than completely changing the playstyle that you have to work with. Hey, were you enjoying this 3D, this 3D action platformer? Yeah? Well, too bad it's a stealth game now. Fuck you. Magnificent. Stunning. This trophy is everything I desire. On the shelf in my living room. Oh, yeah. This big trophy is just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Good for you. Oh, my. Oh, my. What is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? Not really. Oh, no. It's just a little girl. Hello. Oh, wait. You're not a penguin. Oh, that's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are frankly terrible actors. I mean, yeah, you should as know that this, already. I need your help. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual bird movie award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. Yeah, I didn't figure that was actually going to be a thing. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. Step right over here. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pic. Okay. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. I'm sorry, I kind of feel like moving. See how the picture turned out. Oh. Oh. Darling, you're not very photogenic, huh? Whoever said I was. We've got to fix this ugly mugshot up with some old fashioned photo doctoring. Here, take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, fashionable young lady. Yeah, because that's totally legal. Hmm. Okay. Wasn't expecting this. Hmm, so how exactly do I go about doing this? Error, I'll just be number seven. There you go. Perfect! Let's slide this picture into your <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. you go Seven, alright. I'm legally a bird now! Wonderful, darling! Oh, just wonderful! Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and we'll make you a star! Okay, how does, how does this go about earning me timepieces? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual bird movie awards! That's fraud! Fraud! Hey everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! No, we've got someone looking for timepieces over here. Also, if you haven't noticed, I've got Mercury's wings on my hat. Maybe you should be a little nicer Where to me. Where are my owl guards at? Why are the owls so darn useless? Because they've got other things to do. Uh, I don't know. Listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, I can't take you to jail, then you've got to help me even the score. That's right. You've got to be the star of my movies, too. I'm so Here, confused. Hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? Don't be late. It's not even your fucking prop, you bastard. So one thing I will say about A Hat in Time is that it's 
definitely, well, it definitely isn't quite as snappy as getting you the collectibles as, as say, the Mario series. Alright, I play Mario Sun... Intruder Alert, okay. Like, I play Mario Sunshine or Mario Odyssey, and I'll be getting shit quick. This game makes you go through, like, whole storylines before you get one. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, I'd say that's good for now. So, kind of slowly propping myself back up into this. Don't get me wrong, I think Gears for Breakfast did a great job. It's just, when you're looking for just some snappy, some snappy platforming action, it can be a little bit difficult to reconcile having to do, like, huge storylines just to get one MacGuffin. But that's just my own personal opinion. I still think the game is really good. It's really cute. It's really charming. I'll play some more of it, make no mistake. Wondering where that second hat kid came from, but it probably has to do with the online co-op mode. I'll figure that all out later, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you gave this video a shot, I appreciate everything you guys do to help out the channel. By all means, come, come on back and continue checking out what I have going on here. I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised by what the rest of the game has to offer. In the meantime, my name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.